Hello there, I am Dragor with more Earthbound. In the last part, we got, uh, caught up with, uh, Master Pokey, apparently, in Foresight. We got kinda kicked out. And, uh, we learned that the Runway 5, again, uh, uh, are in debt to another, uh, theater owner. So, we came back to the desert, and hopefully, look, we, this guy's made progress. We actually gave him food, I think, two parts ago, and he started, he said, like, oh, if I find any gold, I'll give it to you, so. Hopefully we can find this gold so we can pay off the one of five's debt that they still owe. Because apparently they owe a million dollars this time, so. Yeah, let's talk to the people though. Um, I've been watching them dig for a while. I wonder what they'll find. I'm only going to talk to a couple of people. If they, if they have a live broadcast from the dig, I can check out the dig while relaxing on the floor. Okay. Um, right here there's um this guy right here. Let's talk to him. Uh, out walking in the desert must make you very hungry and thirsty. What do you want? Um, here's the wet towel. You can use it for, like, preventing sunstroke, but I won't buy it. And then you can buy, like, a lot of cool, um, items. I don't really recommend the can of fruit juice or the cup of coffee. Um, you may for the hamburger. Pick it in the lunch for sure. Skip sandwich if you want to go fast. And popsicle, I guess, is a new item. But I don't really need to buy anything. So, yeah. We can go in the whole bug like, in case someone gets sunstroke. Like Jeff Paula, because Ness doesn't get sunstroke as often as Ness and Paula. Uh, Ness, yeah, Ness doesn't get as much get sunstroke as much as as often as a uh, Jeff or Paula because you know I guess because it's in the game's code though like he's wearing a hat and stuff, so he's kind of protected a little bit more than Jeff and Paula. So yeah, I don't th I think we we'll just go right in. The dungeon right here is just a long dungeon. I think there's like five mole moles that you have to face that are considered bosses. So let's try to get. Let's try to get this thing started. Also, I did I did revive um, Paula at the hospital in Foresight off screen, so that's why she's, you know, not collapsed anymore. So that's good. Yeah, and I think uh, Jeff also grew to level thirty one off screen. Like I was, I ran a couple, I ran like I think um, an enemy in Foresight on the streets, and Jeff grew to level thirty one. But other than that, that's really all that's new. Oh, come on, let me talk to you. Okay, I, I didn't have a problem digging until this. I found a maze. Uh, lots of monsters appeared. I should, I should, I could have processed. Uh, I could have, I couldn't proceed. There we go. Um, there's five moles. Five big moles. If you beat the monster, if I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding, uh, ulcer, um, from worrying too much. I'm help, I'm helpless to really do anything. That's sad. That's a bummer. So yeah, here's um, a cold snake. I think this one's a pink, I think, that can actually poison you because they have poison fangs or something. Yeah, they're pink. So they're, they're a little bit tougher. I think I'm just going to bash, bash and shoot just to see how much... Yeah, maybe we have to use a PSI attack. I'm not sure. Depending on how much HP it has. Yeah. Now poisonous fangs. Ah! Ness got, Ness got poisoned. Okay. So I'm gonna get bash. Uh, let's just PSI fire alpha and shoot. Okay. This should take it out though on this turn, I'm hoping. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Just wanna make sure. We won. Ness and this one's getting 929 experience each. Cool. I have to use, um, PSI healing beta on, uh, Ness though to cure his poison. Yeah. <laughs> the poison left Ness's body. That's cool. Uh, Let's just explore. I'm hoping I'm going the right way, but I think I'm going off track or something. I don't know. Okay, that's allowed. Let's go the other way and see where it leads to. I want to run into another enemy, which I don't really want to run into another enemy backtracking. Because that would suck, in, in my opinion, you know. I don't know. I just don't know. There's like multiple paths you can take. But like, I want to find the right one. Dang, this is long. Wait. I'll try going down that ladder. I mean, like, it's just, it's, again, this thing, this dungeon just very long, and, yeah, it's not my cup of tea. I think these, um, these front row guys are weak against fire, because they kind of look like ropes. So let's, so, so let's see if PSI fire alpha is, yeah, well, it didn't do too much, but, again, we're just kind of holding the, um, we're testing the waters, basically. There we go. And good thing that binding attack missed to try to aim for Jeff, but too bad, so sad. Oh, he's a mad duck. I think we faced him when um 
cool going down the ladder first. That's actually good. Uh, we actually oh, we're going the right way. Cool. Uh, we faced the mad duck a couple times when Jeff was trying to get back to Paul and Ness from uh, going all the way from his boarding school. If you remember? So yeah, I don't think they're too tough though. Okay, I'm one of the I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five ma ma masters in all. Okay, we are moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest among us. Take your best shot. Now I don't have a life of a cup of noodles. I sh I could have bought one off screen if I knew where the where to buy them in Foresight. If I could buy them in Foresight, I couldn't find the store. So hopefully no one collapses in this battle. This is actually you know a copy of like the Mondo Mole, but a little bit easier. So I'm gonna use like PSI Rock and Beta. Honestly, I'm gonna use PSI Freeze Beta because I know that's like really effective. So there we go. And then I'm gonna shoot the the stupid enemy that I forgot to do the name of. Uh, Guardian Guardian Digger. Okay, cool. Something HP. Wow. Okay. Okay. I uh, HP on Oh uh, man. Yeah. They, they can deflect the attacks, and that's not really good, per se. Yeah, but there we go. It became tame. Awesome. Good. Good. We won. Uh, this one's gained 5,767 experience each. Nice. And, that, and in the background, I said like number three because he says it's the third strongest. So, in the present, there was an IQ caps inside. All takes. Okay. So, I'm going to give that to um, Jeff because Jeff is IQ. Also, Jeff also, I healed up the hotel again uh, in Foresight off screen as well. And. I think Jeff repaired the um, slime generator, which I'm gonna, which I'm gonna hopefully show off in a battle, hopefully soon. And then he also repaired another iron or broken iron, I believe, too. Wait, no, hold on. Yeah, um, give this to Jeff. Ah, too much stuff. Yeah. Oh man, this stinks. I was hoping that like, I could just give it to him without him to. Wait, I can use it on Jeff though. Like from the yeah, what am I thinking? If I can do that, I lost. I'm I'm just lost. I give that to Jeff. Jeff took that key capsule. IQ capsule and Jeff drank it. It's like he went up at one. So that's pretty cool. So I think over here. I think we have to go up this ladder. No, I didn't make it back down. Jeez. Go back up. Thank you. Okay. Let's go around it and then downwards. Okay, cool. I figured that out. Let's stay down here. There should be some more enemies, but it's good that we're not running into enemies right here. Let's see what's up here. Guess maybe we have to get on that ladder. That's like, I, I, I like, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think how to get through this dungeon exactly. PS Fire Bash and the PS Fire Alpha, and then shoot the stupid snake. The thirst, the thirsty coil snake. Ooh, a smash attack, nice. Game time, awesome. This spins get 929 experience each. Cool. So let's go. What happens if we get on the slaughter? Oh man, always oh, the same. Yeah, we, we were just there. Oh, mad duck. Oh, we automatically beat it though. Nice. This defense gets 677 experience each. Paul is now level 33. Offense went up by 1. Max HP went up by 2. Max PP went up by 2. Nice. Okay. So that's that's a good... So we kind of like surprise that duck. That mad duck. He's a knocked out duck now. So I think we have to go down here. Yeah. I oh, mean, I was gonna probably face the snake anyway, so I was like going head first to it so it doesn't like, get a back attack on me. So bash, PSI fire alpha, and shoot. Jeff can shoot the snake. The thirsty coil snake. There we go, yeah. Fighting attack, ooh. 42 HP. Yeah, at least it didn't poison this. Bash, bash, and shoot, I guess. There we go. And it became tame. Awesome. That's the fans getting 929 experience each. Cool. I think I'm gonna end the part right here. Oh wait, no, hold on. There's actually I was about to say like um big bottle block inside. Okay, so yeah, I'm not at my stop. I'm not at my stopping point just yet. So it's um goods, I guess. Jeff will need that though. 
Um, well, he has a lot of bottle rockets anyway. Okay, so like I can just probably use um, one of his bottle rockets the next like boss fight or something. That making room for the big bottle rocket that I just picked up. He's a thirsty coral snake. Bash PSI, sorry, PSI fire alpha, and shoot the snake, Jeff. <laughs> Dodge quickly, Uno. Oh no, I said Uno. <laughs> I meant oh no, oh no. No, not the poisonous fangs. Bash PSI fire again, alpha, and shoot. Please not, don't miss this time. Ah. One HP damage, I oh, know. Yeah, okay. Could be free. Yeah, because that poison fang really sucks, you know. Because I forgot to read the number of experience points everyone got, but that's okay. Okay, PSI healing beta on Ness. Okay. Another another one of these things. Jeez. Stupid snakes. Snakes, snakes, snakes. Snakes, snakes, snakes. Okay, PSI fire alpha. And then, of course, we bash the, um, the snake with our Mr. Baseball Bat. I'm telling Ness to do that, yeah. Yes, if I alpha, there we go. And, of course, shoot with the, uh, zip gun for Jeff. Oh my gosh, these snakes. Ooh, a smash attack, nice. They just 20 HP damage, nice. So, let's see here. Um, Ness and Evans gained 929 experience each. Cool. There's gotta be something up here. Yeah, that's all I present there, actually. I should have healed Paul a little bit, but... Oh my gosh, hopefully she can still survive this next battle. And it's basically the same combination for, like, these last couple thirsty coil snakes. I don't want to say every time, do I? I don't think so. Yes, I missed. Awesome. That's good. I yeah, became tame. Awesome. And spends gain 920 experience each. Cool. That's awesome. It's like, my... It's so nice. Yeah, PSI, Life of Alpha, and Paula. I'm PHP maxed out. That's nice. You should have not worth HP, wow. Okay. Here's some X mice. I don't think I need them because I still have mine, I think. Or, do I still have mine? Croissant, okay. Hold on, do I still have my X mouse? Yeah, I do have my X mouse. I got all the way back before, I think, uh, I think it was before Tucson. Um, let's use some items, though, if I can. I feel the inventory is full, actually. It's a bummer. I guess we don't really need the descent defense spray right now. So, uh, I guess we can drop that. Yeah, we did the defense spray. Yeah, okay. Constant inside, okay. So good. Yeah, we got the croissant. I, I just didn't phone one off because of the notifications. Ah! So let's give this one to, um, give this croissant to Jeff. So he should be maxed out, cool. Check this, I guess. And the clutch inside, okay, cool. Hopefully we don't need that to straight, honestly, because I'm kind of worried if I didn't need it. Let's go down here. Here's another bomb inside. Why well, can't take it? I guess I could use a picnic lunch on, um, didn't mean to do that. I guess I can use a picnic lunch on, uh, Ness, I guess. So, uh, Ness, I guess. <laughs> use on Ness. It's 232, okay. Now we can just open this. There's a bomb inside, Jeff takes it. Cool. Okay. So, um, I think I'm gonna end the part right here. So, this has been the end of my Earthbound Let's Play part. In the next part, I'll take on more of this dungeon, hopefully. Maybe get through it all at the next. Uh, well, at least I have four Mondo walls to face, but maybe I'll take two more parts. I'm not sure. So, yeah, this is Majorico again. I would like to thank you for checking in. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.